Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to ETS2. A new version of Grand Utopia is coming very soon, and uh, thanks a lot to my godness for giving me a copy of it, a preview build if you will, so I can check it out and show you guys a bit in advance. Now in terms of the expansion of the map, I think, I think he gave me the list here. These areas here are new. Basically, you can see the the gray roads are mostly new. I think this part is 1.8, but with 1.9, this area is new as well as these ones and these ones and also these ones. Yeah, now don't ask me to pronounce them, <laughs> like especially that name. I leave the pronunciation to you guys. So instead, I'll just point and say there, there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we are starting off in this little island. I think this one I can pronounce, Lafayette. Why does it sound so familiar? Um, but yeah, so we'll be going around and even though the job itself is pretty short, uh, we'll take the roundabout route here just to explore more of this new area and look forward to more videos of Grand Utopia soon because I surely missed this map. Glad it's back and bigger than ever. Now in terms of truck, Scania 4 Series, my favorite truck. I couldn't resist anymore. I had to get back into it. Thanks a lot to Todd for influencing me <laughs> in the Discord server. Um, to take note though, it's a bit loud. I'm using sound mods for now from our trail fan. And uh, he, I think, repurposed Krishbom's uh, crackle sounds, V8 sounds. So this is what we have. It's a bit loud. Ready your... Maybe lower your volume a bit, okay? Here we go. I haven't driven it so far so much yet, but it is good. Although a bit rough around the edges. Sometimes the sound still cuts off for me. But we'll see. Overall though. It definitely is a boomish one. I won't even rev it fully because it's going to be too loud. Oh, we have Rex there. Seems to be enjoying the view. Anyway, we have windows closed. So that can be mitigated somewhat, the volume. And if it gets worse, I'll lower the sliders altogether in the audio settings. There we go. We are carrying 16 tons of prosciutto. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I did miss this truck. This is my... I get this question all the time. What's your favorite truck? This is it. Because I am a 90s kid. I grew up in the 90s. Oh, beautiful water effects from Project Next Gen there. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm using Project Next Gen in terms of graphics mods. Ah, blinkers are not fixed yet. Seems like... I thought that was fixed already. So yeah, making this mod work, making this truck work is a bit of a challenge. You'll have to do a couple of steps because the mod by default is not compatible. So if you chalk, chalk, if you check the mods list, link is in the video description and look for this truck. This is the one by RJL. It will have instructions there, links to the instructions. And you'll have to download like a 137 fix by cast, an unofficial fix. So you will make it work, but I think, yeah, still not perfect. It, it makes the windows work. Man, that's loud. But yeah, like the blinker still isn't, isn't fixed apparently. Man, I really like those water effects. Looks like water effects from a triple A game. Oh, I like this area though, huh? Very scenic, very isolated, and of course, I love that bridge. Oh, very nice. Thanks again, my goddess, for all the contributions in the truck sim community. I think now, I don't know any release dates or whatnot, because there are some areas which are still in progress. Or I think in particular, there's still one area. That's still in progress, that's why he hasn't released it yet. So he told me to avoid it in the meantime. 
but when it's finished I'm not sure but I think this will be a free release now, I'm not sure if my godness you're watching here you can correct me there if I got it wrong what the heck is this guy doing? Let's try and stay out of his way. Okay. Clear. Engine sounds are very flappy. Love it. Properly old school. Here we are. Boat doesn't seem like it's here yet though. I guess we'll have to wait for it. That should carry us over to that side of the island. To the main island, Mary, basically. Right, let's go and wait here. Lafayette to Granville. There we are. Ah, that was quick. Alright, now where did we end up in? That's the question. It's very nice though. There we go. Stop sign here. My god, this really has mastered this the art of mapping. It's just everything it does blends into something so real. I don't even know if these are based on something from real life or he just conjured this, these images from his mind. Yeah, it just blends into something that you would expect to see in the real world. Yeah, that's nice. And of course, there are people just hanging around outside, making the picture a lot better. Now, I'm not so sure about the textures here. This might be more of a Project Next Gen thing. Because I guess he models it based on SCS textures and I modify those using Pro Project Next Gen textures. So this might have become a bit too... How do you pronounce? How do you say? Tiley. Like it's too repeating too much in that pattern, that uniform pattern. But yeah, I think this is more of a Project Next Gen thing than... Uh, a mapping issue so I might need to well I don't want to remove project next gen though because it just adds so many nice textures improves the visuals even more so I think we will keep it we we'll just have to live with some of the side effects very interesting junction I might also do a silent trucking video with this truck and for those of you who are craving for engine sounds I think you couldn't crave more for this <laughs> this will definitely scratch your engine sound cravings <clears throat> here we are I love it love the look of this city Ooh. I like that. It does look a bit skimpy though. Can we really go through there? Let's let this guy pass. Okay, yeah, I guess he's gonna give way. Thank you. Um, can we fit through there? Yeah, we should be able to. roundabout with a tree in the middle quite scenic and I like my frame rates going here although I do have my anti-aliasing still set to two times I'm using NPI tweaks NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks for those who are new and usually I have it at four times <coughs> but right now I have it at two times so that results in more jagged edges, you know, not as good anti-aliasing, but should be much better in the frame rate department. But I think in addition to that, the map is just optimized. It looks great. It's optimized very well. Oh man, 
struggling here. Goodness, that's heavy. I will get even more comments asking me why I drive so slow. <laughs> Yikes. Come on, that is bright. There you go. Exposure adjusting properly. Might need our lights though, huh? shift up because it's still uphill. There we go. Now where do we go? We turn right here and we loop around to that bridge up there. Oh this is so exciting. I, I, I love driving through Grand Utopia roads because you never know what you'll get. It's never just a straightforward junction. Like the ones you're familiar with, with the default map. There's always something new, a different flavor. And for those who are new and not familiar with this map, this is a one is the one fictional map that is, I think, loosely based in France and other similar areas. I think mainly in France. But this is a more of a fictional map and it doesn't really... It doesn't really like try to copy any of the real stuff real places some places i think may be familiar but i don't think he tries to copy anything one is to one and that gives him a lot of freedom to like play around and uh, not be limited by reality more or less I always enjoy driving through these roads because the one is to one scale really helps with the details. You can put in so many details in the map. It's just that if you're looking for long hauls, this might not be the map because it's one is to one. Development takes a long time and the, the map is not that huge yet. But it's perfect for me because I like driving like in 30 minute to an hour at most bursts. And the, the, the size of the map is just perfect for that and it's ever so continuously increasing. Oh, I like this. Everything I see, I like. It's just so strange, so different, the road network. You really have to look at your GPS and the signs. Now, that doesn't look good. It did say deviation in the roundabout right before we reach that roundabout. So I think that is a bad move. That seems to be closed. So we can say we avoid that actually. And now what it will do is it will just allow us to take that roundabout, go on the highway and then get back out just to explore the map a bit. Don't worry, we'll get even more exposure to this in the coming days, weeks maybe. Yikes, please don't hit that. Yeah, these kinds of uh, excitement, excitement factors built into the map. Like, you think everything's going smoothly, but actually the roads are closed. So you have to think on your feet. Uh, the shimmering you see in the distance is a result of not the best anti-aliasing. And if I use the default SES anti-aliasing, that will be even worse, I think. <clears throat> but with four times the NPI tweaks set at four times, I think. One sec, there is saying a deviation here. Let's try and follow that. Let's see where that leads us. Over here. Now if you look, go back to the map, see where that takes us. Ah, yeah, that does work. That does work. So it's basically still the same thing. 
we just avoid this leg here, but we can just do a detour. Nice, very nice mapping. So you can base your navigation. That's the sign, I think, of a great mapping done. Is when you can follow actually the signs and get to wherever you want to go. And in that case, even though the GPS was a bit confused where we wanted, it eventually found something. Well, we eventually found something thanks to reading the signs. There is the sign again, deviation. Nice. There's a combine right there. Is this the one? I think I actually... Oh, this is a funny interchange. Oh, this is a roundabout actually. Very strange look. Anyway, we're here. <laughs> but yeah, no prefab junctions here at all. Everything is handmade to be unique. Never a dull moment in the Grand Utopia map. Yeah, this is my favorite one, is the one map. see next okay so this should be the end of the detour this should be linking us up to the fin I don't, I'm not even going to try and read that but it's the end of the deviation it said end of the detour I'm sure but I like this there's even a guy Waving guys across, and all the AI cars are also getting deviated. I like that we don't have to, we're not the only ones encountering the problem, they're also deviating around. Sorry if the engine sound is too loud, guys. I know some people don't like the too loud sounds especially over my commentary let me know when I can adjust next time in the meantime I'll try to just not step on the gas too hard <laughs> to minimize to mitigate the, the sounds I think for silent trucking this is okay but maybe for with commentary this might be a bit too loud huh that mean it's a city area also there seems to be a road there a hidden road looks like I guess that leads to uh, yeah that's also one asset of this map there are lots of hidden roads so we saw that one here there's actually it branches off I'm guessing maybe it leads to the highway here or maybe it even connects all the way there but uh, yeah this map has been known to do that some older areas oh, I like that I can actually see buildings at a distance like that you would, would have thought the render distance wouldn't have made that possible oh here we, here's the main highway beautiful and yeah the highways here in Grand Uto Utopia I absolutely love because it's a one is to one scale so the bends are very natural almost all of the time you can keep the top speed which is mostly 90 kilometers per hour in the highway you can keep that 90 and follow the bends and nothing would be too dramatic you know it's going to be a very relaxing drive oh i like this i think rex is enjoying it too <laughs> if i open the window i bet he'll stick his head out and just uh, yeah, you know those uh, yeah, dogs love that sticking his head out the window and just opening his mouth and letting his tongue wag all around <laughs> getting dragged by the window all over the place Ooh, looks like a funky bridge here oh 
almost went through there though I think that area is not finished I thought we would go beyond the bridge okay that might be something that is in progress <laughs> cutting it close cutting it close oh man I love this this looks like a perfect area for some bush flying oh, what do you call it like sandbars and stuff I'm looking at things from a different perspective now. Of course, still super hyped about the new flight simulator from Microsoft. Expect lots of videos when that comes out. And we'll probably do a lot of like Q&A type videos with flight sim. Because those will be very scenic. Flying through real roads, satellite images and stuff. So whenever I see sceneries like this, I immediately get reminded of those beautiful images I see from the videos on Flight Sim. But that is actually a testament to how beautiful this map is looking and how realistic it is made. Because this is handmade. And if this can be made to look like something you would expect to see in real life, then that's definitely saying something, isn't it? That's good. What is this? Oh, this is I think the one connecting to that building, low field. Very nice. And yeah, I know you might have noticed this paint job is actually from a Dutch company. But we are somewhere in fictional France. But I just really like the design. I like the look, it's properly classic, it looks like a 90s truck. And so, no regrets there. And plus this trailer is a perfect combo for it in terms of look. Now I'm trying to remember, there is a paint job, this paint job came from the Steam Workshop. It should be in the mods list definitely. Just look for uh, something like RJL4 series paint job pack. This is by... Oh, he's a very prominent uh, Skinner uh, Hound Dog, I think. Yeah, something like that. Under the bridge. Don't worry, we'll be driving through that, looks like, based on the GPS. We'll just be looping around here. And I noticed the video is getting quite long. Sorry about that, guys, but hope you are enjoying the trip. This is what I really like to do sightseeing the jobs are just an excuse to go sightseeing and this is exactly what I've been looking for thanks my godness so when I get news of when it's going to be released or like um, yeah I think it will be free I will let you guys know in the meantime I will preview some of these so you guys can get hyped <laughs> so we turn right here this map has also been known for some skimpy roads which can be quite realistic I imagine when you try and deliver to those smaller farms for example then you will definitely need to go through those smaller roads like, look at how small that road is and this is two-way I don't think the truck can even fit through in one lane you have to hog both lanes it's interesting that actually guy turned that guy actually turned left and some of them go straight so that is a valid road where does that go I wonder it's a uh, Seems like one of those hidden roads again. My goodness. Yeah, his name really fits him. My goodness. Beautiful. By the way, thanks, huge thanks to Alex for letting me know about this. He mentioned to me Wombat actually streamed this also. So if you guys want to check a more detailed, like Sam, check out some other areas. I think Wombat um, streamed this and so we should have a more detailed... Oh, 
not exerted. Wombat should be have been able to explore more of these new areas. So check out his stream. I'm sure if you google like uh, Wombat Grand Utopia 1.9, that's the first result that will come out. So thanks to Alex because he told me about it. And so I reached out to my godness and uh, yeah, my godness obliged. <clears throat> so it is an, an honor to check this out. I'm happy to show it to you guys. Because I'm sure you would be enjoying this too. Alright. Let's have a look at the ETA. 14 minutes. More or less, that's accurate. So maybe that would be around uh, 10 minutes in real life. Because it's a one is to one map, the calculations are pretty close. They're not exact, but should be around the ballpark. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing is because it's one is to one, the payments, the economy system does not play well with it. You earn so little. I'm not sure if that has been adjusted yet. But yeah, I think that's one thing that has to be done if you like to play it realistically. There you build up your own trucking company from scratch. So you take jobs first, quit jobs, and then you buy your own truck and progress from there using this map. I think you will not get very far. Because it's 1 is to 1 instead of 1 is to 19, which is the default map scale if I remember correctly. That means you earn money 19 times slower, something like that. So the economy has to be adjusted, like the income has to be 19 times higher so that you will have progression at the same pace as the default map. Now I think some 1 is to 1 maps do that. I think the Romania map by Alexandru does that. I'm not sure if this one by my godness does. That might be a work in progress or that might not even be in his plan. Because like for me, this map I just cheated basically. Like if you look at the money, you have 6 million. I have, I'm like level 30 something. I have all skills unlocked. So I basically do this for driving but not for leveling up. So this is just mainly for a chill drive. But yeah, if you want to do the full economy system I think you will have to mod it but yeah I don't have experience with it hole in the map there <clears throat> work in progress as I mentioned not sure if my godness is aware of that though maybe I have to report it if I remember I keep saying to, that I should report these things and I should but I oftentimes forget Look at that. Look at how large that ramp is. That merging lane. Yeah, that's how real all these are. Gives you so much opportunity to blend in, even if the roads are filled with cars. And here we go 90 kilometers per hour. So now we're in a proper highway. Frame rate has been good all throughout. I guess if I were to four times my anti-aliasing, I would get some frame drops along the way. Because I think... I wonder what that sign says. It's the same sign I saw. Ah, there we go. Nulet Municipal Forest. Oh, that's actually where we were. I see. Nice. I wonder if that's something from real life. Because it is a fictional map overall but some of the places are based on real places so I'm, just, I'm just not sure when the distinction happens but I was saying something and of course my mind drifted and uh, now I don't remember it <laughs> so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me there I think you turn right here and look at this merge this this off ramp yeah this is exactly how all the road should look like gives you proper allowance for your adjustments oh my 
goodness you know you guys know i love bridges and this definitely fits the bill i think we have our thumbnail shot here guys one sec let me time that perfectly and i'll do a quick save here i'll load it up later and that will be a thumbnail shot right there beautiful the city is starting to come now That's a different city though, looks like. That might be the city from 1.8. Yeah, I just realized I haven't been able to explore the entirety of 1.8. And now 1.9 is almost here. That's okay. Since we have plenty of time. But yeah. So I've, I've said many good things about my godness in this map. As you can see, it's beautiful my favorite one is the one map and but if you would ask me what my most favorite thing was in this map it would be this one i'm uh i'm a highway kind of guy i know a lot of people lo love driving through the country roads and i love that too but i love even more driving through highways because this is something did i just get lost or something i might have oh it's actually asking me to Oh, that's that's a bug right there. Okay, we'll have to make a U-turn somehow. Maybe there is a sneaky thing here. Yeah, I might have to teleport, guys. That might be a bug that has to be fixed still. Anyway, so I was saying my favorite thing was, was the in this map, if I would only name one thing, definitely the highways. Because in real life, where I drive, we don't have many of these beautiful highways with the overlapping junctions and bridges and whatnot. So whenever I see those in the sim, I absolutely love driving through them. The problem is with older roads in SES, those highways, those junctions are not very realistic. They're compressed down to the 1 is to 19 scale. And so the experience is not very real. Yeah, I don't think there will be a U-turn slot here. Okay. We'll have to fix stuff. Now I'll do things a bit more professionally. I'll hide the funky stuff to you guys. So let's do it like that. Close the curtains a bit like so figure out how to do stuff and uh, see a way around and now we're on the other side of the road look at how professional that is <laughs> curtain closing and everything professional stuff huh? now if you don't know how to do that google is your friend Suggested keywords would be ETS2, how to teleport. But yeah, trying to make it a bit more realistic for you guys so it doesn't fully break immersion. You can just assume that I found a way across somehow. Let's get back into charted territory here. Yeah, that's something that has to be fixed, I think. A border has to be put in here or something. So that the GPS won't get confused with it. But yeah, definitely my number one thing here would be the highways. Because from what I've heard from you guys, this is exactly how, how, how highways should be like. The merging lanes, the length of them, the angle of the bends how each of these different layers merge together like how large, how long this lane is gives you plenty of time to really do all those changing lane maneuvers without causing hassle to your fellow drivers you don't even need to slow down you can maintain 90 here actually I'm just slowing down because I'm not sure if it's like 
some other old SCS prefab or if I can really maintain my speed. Yeah, look at how gradual these bends are. Let's try to keep 90 and trust the roads. And if anything goes wrong, then we blame my godness. <laughs> no, but this is looking good. This is looking really good. There we go, 90. Almost. Okay, looks like it's going down here now though. Because we are entering a city. Very nice. And now it's 50. Yikes. Hopefully no cop. Thank you. So if I wanted an auto toll, I think it's this one. Those are, I think, closed. Thank you. Man, this city is immense, huh? Didn't notice that many buildings in here. And we are now back to Granville. The ETA on this job. 17 hours. Wow. Cool. This is exactly what I want, you know. Not being time pressured at all. Even though we went a roundabout route, we are at no risk at all of getting a problem with lateness. Oh, that's nice. I wonder what that is. And if that's something in real life as well. That thing in the middle of the roundabout. Like a. How they call it, like those DNA strands. Bridge. Sorry, guys, yeah, it's loud. It's been loud the entire episode, so I guess you, you probably are used to it by now. Is this where we came from? No, this road is actually closed. I would like is yeah, I'm not sure if France does that but what I would like personally is to have the traffic lights also on the other end of the junction you know so even though I'm right at the end of that particular junction I can still see the traffic light some maps do that some areas have that but maybe France doesn't have it IRL or well this is my personal preference like if you go too close like this one you don't see the light anymore. So normally, in real life, in many of the traffic lights I've driven in, you would have this lamppost also there, this traffic light post also on that other side. Yeah, it's green already, I didn't know. But I'm not sure if that's a problem to implement in-game. I have seen some areas like that in-game though, so I think it's possible. Might be more of a hassle though. Oh, I like that many cars in car 4. It does say car 4 so it makes sense. But um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I just fell right into it. Alright. Final roundabout before we deliver this. Actually the sounds are not bad. huh? They're not super crisp. I think they're based on some old recordings, YouTube videos, or from some old samples from Krishpur. So not the same as his recent um, recordings, but they are very nice. Just a bit muffled and very powerful. Ah, look at this. R4 looks like a proper humongous mall. all the people walking there. I guess you won't see this in real life anytime soon, huh? This many people outside. Strange times we live in. But at least we can still see that in sim perfectly. Let's go through here. Perfect. Because I'm enjoying this much. 
I might even make a silent trucking episode right after this one. We'll see. Oh, I like that. Actually, a truck here. There are actually trucks here with trailers, and that trailer even has its door open. Unloading stuff and st stuff like that. Just adds to the entire reality of the place. So you're not the only trucker in the world. I know there's a mod like that. I can't remember who did it. I think it was it Shumi. But it basically adds trucks to the delivery points. So that it wouldn't be just trailers. It would feel like you are part of really an industry rather than a lone wolf. It's going to get loud guys because I'll have to lower the windows. Louder, I should say. Hear that? Yeah. Something weird with the revs. At certain rev ranges, there you go. The engine dies. The engine doesn't die, but the sound dies. I think there's a bit of bug. I'm guessing that's what the 138 changes. Because this is, I think, mainly 137 compatible. But with 138, some changes were done on the rev range, I think. Automatic transmissions. So maybe the automatic transmission is reaching a lower rev range, which the sound mod or R-Trail fan did not anticipate. At least that's my expectation, but that's just my yes. There we go. Easy peasy, straightforward parking. Thankfully, so I didn't have to struggle for it. There we go. Rex looks like a happy dog. Done and done. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. See, tw only 22 kilometers driven. But that took us uh, 40 minutes IRL. It's 1 hour 24 in game, so it's still a bit off, even though it's 1 is to 1. But yeah, that's just really how the way it is. Also, I didn't notice the XP if it was increased. You guys let me know if that's. I think that looked higher than a typical 1 is to 1 distance map for 22 kilometers that might actually be increased look at that curtain cider there nice partially open like that anyway thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more vids on grand utopia and let me know if you prefer a specific spot or something else thanks for watching have a nice day come see trucking bye bye